What's up? This is Twisted Nick, and today we're going to be taking a look at Extreme G for the Nintendo 64. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is Extreme G on the N64. It came out in 1997 and was made by Acclaim. This is the kind of game where you either love it or hate it. It gets a lot of mixed reactions, but personally, I think it's excellent. At first glance, it looks like a generic bike racing game, but if you really give it the time of day, it can be very enjoyable. It takes place in the distant future, where there are high speed capable bikes which can somewhat defy gravity in nearly every way possible. Basically, you just race through all these guys with your motorcycle. The controls are excellent, and seeing that it's on the N64, which plagued many games with control problems, it's pretty impressive. The Z trigger on the back of the N64 controller is what you use to accelerate the bike. The B button acts as the brake, and the A button controls the weapons that your bike has. The track designs are pretty simple at first, but as you progress, they become much more complicated. The game isn't that hard though, seeing that the AI is so dumb. Occasionally, they'll do something like throw missiles at you, or a mine, but if you're cautious when playing this game, it shouldn't be a problem. It's very similar to F-Zero with the futuristic setting and the fast-paced zero-gravity racing and all that. It's also like Mario Kart with having the ability to use your weapons to your advantage and slow the other players down. This game has good graphics for the most part. There's usually never any slowdown or anything like that. The frame rate is smooth and everything runs pretty well. One little problem is the game's fog. All the levels have fairly heavy fog, but this was necessary to keep the game's frame rate up to scratch. The trade-off was a worthwhile one for sure. Whatever though. The insane sense of speed is well done here, so whatever. But the real question is how fun is it? Well, it's extremely fun. It's so satisfying hitting people with the missile and winning first place. And the fast paced addicting action of this magnificent game will keep you entertained for a good while. And the music does nothing but complement the lightning fast gameplay. And don't tell me that the music in the opening credits and the title screen isn't badass. I'd have to kill someone if they said anything other than that. Overall, it's an incredibly fun game. It's got excellent replay value, and if you like F-Zero or Mario Kart, then this is the right game for you, and you'll most likely have a good time with it. So that's it. So I'm Twisted Nick, and I'll see you later.